Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane. This video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite co-op games. Co-op games are actually one of my favorite genres of video games. Uh, there's nothing that quite matches the feeling of sitting down with a friend and you know, working towards a common goal. And unfortunately nowadays this is um, mainly turned into online competitive play and um, you know, just uh, it seems like a lot of video games are getting away from this basic concept. Uh, you know, but I, again, I'd, I'd really love the idea of getting together, you know, going towards a common goal and, and helping each other out. Um, you know, as much as possible. You know, uh, with that said, uh, these are actually my favorite co-op games. Let's see, in 1987, Konami released Contra on the NES. Uh, Contra, I've talked about this game before. It's you know one of my favorite Nintendo games. It's a great run and gun. Um, you know, with with platforming aspects, and uh, you know. It's just a really good game. It does deserve to be in everyone's collection. And I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of more of the uh, gameplay for this game. Another game that I've spoken about is Life Force on the NES. 1990, or not 1990, uh, 1988, released also by Konami. Um, you know, two player, two player shmups are... Um, Kind of a dying breed. Uh, I don't see them very often except for uh, games that have done it in the past and uh, refuse to change their formula and uh, you know I you know I can applaud them for that you know you, you know they've got a formula they want to keep it the way it is but again Life Force is one of my favorites and I have spoken about it before. <laughs> Yet another game uh, that I've went over several times is uh, du the Double Dragon series uh, released by on various consoles um, let's see I think the first release was in 1987 by Taito um, again you know just working towards a common goal uh, defeating hordes of enemies uh, you know covering each other's back making sure that neither of you get jumped or killed it's just a you know a really good series uh, here's a more interesting one for me. It's uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron on the PlayStation 3, released by High Moon Studios uh, you know, 2012. Uh, the reason this is on the list is because of the way that they actually handled the co-op, where someone can jump in and help you and do all sorts of stuff, and then if they've got to leave and go to work, they can you know, log off of that character or, you know, disconnect from the game. And the computer seamlessly picks up control of that character again and continues to help you. So that you don't have to, like, make this long uh, commitment to, you know, sitting down and playing for like two, maybe three or four hours. You know, it, it's it's very much pick up and put down for, uh, for the second player. And... You know, I, I think that's a very innovative idea. I wish more companies would uh, strive to do stuff like this. Uh, another one that's uh, a co-op game, although this is more online than anything else, is uh, Dragon's Crown. Um, and uh, it's released on... The one I'm talking about is specifically the one for the Vita by Vanillaware in 2013. Um, you know, I really enjoy this game. Uh, it's it's got a good fantasy feel um, all of the power-ups are really well done and you know uh, with the co-op you can actually gain more of an advantage uh, than most people realize is anyone that you can co-op with you can actually uh, get their bones and resurrect them and have them as a computer controlled NPC and it's just a snapshot of that character with all of their equipment and stuff um, but again, you know, the P the PC controlling, you know, a snapshot character is nothing like actually going through and playing, uh, 
you know, the actual game and uh, with with somebody else who's controlling the character. And again, it's more hordes of enemies and trying to protect each other as much as you can. Uh, another one of my favorites is Fantasy Star Online 1 and 2 Plus. Now this game was originally released, the Fantasy Star series was originally released in 2003 on the Sega Dreamcast and is released by Sega. Um, I've always loved the Fantasy Star Online series. Uh, me and my friends have played it multiple times through multiple variations and versions of this game. Uh, my favorite one is actually uh, PSO 1 and 2 Plus on the GameCube. Uh, me and my friends played this endlessly and for some reason this is my favorite version. It's got a lot of the stuff all piled together. Um, they fixed a few of the overpowered things and you know it brought a lot of balance to the game and again you know working towards a common goal, helping each other out, uh, you know trading equipment and all this other stuff you know it's it was just really really well done it's definitely worth picking up and looking looking into this game um, on to the next one it's Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube released by Nintendo in 2003 uh, you know very very rarely do you see a, uh, a racing game that is a co-op racing game um, you know and it's it's so rare that like I think Nintendo just hit it out of the park with this one with the uh, multiple leans and, and turns and stuff and you know it and then you know swapping and it, it's just really really well done well that's it for this episode of Monday Designs I'm your host Monday and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it if you like what I what you see uh, you can support me and my channel on Patreon just by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.